clock struck midnight and the old radio in Henry's attic crackled to life. He had inherited the old Victorian house from his great-grandfather, and since then he had been cataloguing the dusty attic full of antiques. But the radio was different. It seemed almost alive, with an eerie glow to its dial and an energy that made the hair on the back of his neck stand on end. Henry approached the radio cautiously, listening as it emitted strange static and distant whispers. It was as if the voices were trying to speak through the radio, but couldn't quite form words. He reached out and turned the dial, and the static shifted, revealing a clearer sound. A deep, gravelly voice echoed through the attic. Welcome, listeners. Tonight we bring you a tale of the damned, a story so chilling you'll wish you had never tuned in. Henry's blood ran cold as the voice seemed to address him directly. He tried to turn the radio off, but the switch wouldn't budge. He was trapped, forced to listen. The voice began its tale. Once upon a time, there was a man who dared to tamper with forces beyond his understanding. He found an old radio much like this one and decided to use it for a broadcast. He gathered stories from the darkest corners of the world, stories of the haunted, the cursed, and the possessed. He broadcasted these tales, never imagining the consequences. As the man continued his broadcasts, strange things began to happen. His listeners reported seeing shadows move in the corners of their rooms, hearing whispers in the dead of night, and experiencing visions of things they could not explain. But the man did not stop. He reveled in the fear he inspired. Little did he know, he was opening a gateway to something far more sinister. The stories he shared were not just tales, they were real. He was broadcasting the voices of the dead, the cries of the damned, and the whispers of malevolent spirits. These entities, drawn to his broadcasts, began to seep through the radio waves, entering the homes of his listeners and wreaking havoc. Henry's heart raced as he realized the story was all too familiar. The man in the tale could have been him. He had been cataloging the same kind of stories for his podcast, unaware of the danger he was inviting into his life. The voice continued. The man tried to stop, but it was too late. The spirits he had unleashed would not let him go. They took him, body and soul, and now his voice haunts the radio, telling his tale to anyone who dares to listen. The voice let out a chilling laugh. And now, dear listener, you know the fate of those who meddle with the unknown. Will you follow in his footsteps, or will you turn off this radio and never look back? Henry's heart pounded in his chest as he stared at the radio, unable to tear his gaze away. He reached out with a trembling hand to turn off the radio, but a new voice emerged from the static, a voice soft, pleading, and unmistakably his own. Don't turn it off, Henry, the voice whispered. You've come so far, don't you want to know what happens next? Henry recoiled in horror, his own voice mocking him from the radio speaker. He tried to shout over the radio to drown out the voice, but it only grew louder, echoing throughout the attic. Stay with us, Henry, the voice continued. Listen to the next broadcast, and you will understand. You will join us. You will become part of the story. Henry slammed his hands over his ears, but it was no use. The voices were everywhere now, a chorus of whispers calling out to him, weaving their dark tales in his mind. Join us, Henry, they urged. Join us and never be alone again. Desperate Henry tried to flee the attic, but the door slammed shut and locked behind him. He was trapped surrounded by the haunted voices that beckoned him closer to the radio. The dial on the radio began to turn on its own, searching for a new frequency. Henry watched in terror as the voices changed, becoming more urgent, more malevolent. They spoke of things he could never have imagined, things that should not exist. The whispers swirled around him, and he felt a cold wind envelop him. It was as if the spirits were reaching out, trying to pull him into their world. No! Henry screamed, fighting against the unseen forces. I won't listen, I won't. But the voices laughed, a haunting, echoing sound that sent shivers down his spine. You already have, Henry, they taunted. You already have. As the voices grew louder and the room grew colder, Henry knew he was losing the battle. He was being drawn into the dark world of the radio, a world where he would be lost forever. With a final desperate effort, he lunged at the radio, grabbing it with both hands. He tried to rip the wires out to destroy the source of the voices, but the radio fought back, emitting a blinding flash of light. Henry's screams echoed through the attic, and then there was silence. The next morning, the attic was empty. The radio sat silent, its dial still glowing faintly. Henry was never seen again, 
but some say that on quiet nights you can hear his voice whispering through the radio, calling out to anyone who dares to listen. Join us. Join us and become part of the story.